Ken Horton, the 2012 Northeastern Conference Player of the Year, and a pre-draft Portsmouth Invitational member. Ken Horton, Mr. Everything for the Blue Devils. He's got six, three of them coming right there. Ken Horton, College Highlights. Great defense by Murkovich, not doing too much. Crawford dishes down low, Murkovich. Efese meets him there for the block. Murkovich, Murkovich gets it back. A nice job on the second effort. A denial once, but the stick to itness right there by Murkovich. If you first you don't succeed, dust yourself off. Try again, big fella. Horton from long distance. Not going to shut him down. Crawford, in and out from long distance. And Millen will bring this one down. Vinales already with seven points in this ballgame. Now here's Horton just blowing by Fruitt. Finds the open man in Efese for the two-handed slam. And right there you see the versatility of Horton. Not only is he the scorer, but he's comfortable putting the ball on the deck right there. The big fella takes the drive, makes the defense commit, dumps it down to Efese for the flush. A heavily contested drive right there, but Tasik does a great job of finishing with the offhand in traffic. Other end, Crawford looking to respond quickly. Was a little strong on that layup attempt, and Horton with the board. This is Vinales. He's had the hot hand so far for Central Connecticut State as he hands to McMillan now. Seven points, though, for the freshman guard, Kyle Vinales. Terrell Allen. It's to Horton. Finds Vinales again, the long jumper go. First two points of the ball game for Sherna. He's with Millen now. Horton draws a pair of defenders out and hits the three over both of them. You see a score on one end in Sherna. Well, Horton can do it as well, and he hasn't done much. Northwestern's done a good job of keeping him at bay, but he can score in a variety of ways, the three ball being the point of choice there. Vinales once again, shot clock down under 10. Spinning around, nearly got that one to fall. Rebound kicks to Horton for the putback. Got to be a travel right there, you got to think. from Murkovich looking for Schoen on the baseline. McMillan there to cut him off and couldn't get the floater to fall. And Schoen just not in rhythm and the struggles continue. And there's a layup finally from Ken Horton. Western up seven now, it's biggest lead of the ball game. Big shot right there from Cobb, and it seems like in times when you most need it, Cobb has made a play and hit a big shot right there, no different. Pass down low, finds his way to Horton, he'll kick out, Vinales wide open from the top of the key. And, and, I mean, kid can fill it up. He's got the Blue Devils right in the middle of this one. Ken Horton around three defenders against that to fall, and now he's starting to heat up as well. Yeah, you got to be nervous if you're a Wildcat fan. Like a pitcher who throws 150 in a ball game, he's really getting the shots up today. 
22 of them. Crawford fading away from the free throw line, no good. Rebound to Horton. For Central Connecticut State, McMillan, Vinales, Efese, Tasic, and Horton, the starting five out there for Howie Dickenman. 141 remaining in this ballgame. It's a four-point Wildcat lead. There is Horton. He'll sky it up from long distance and makes it a one-point game. And there it is right there, the versatility. Horton, the big man, can step out and hit a deep three. In such a critical situation, he delivers. Brandon Wood will just miss that one. Dawson gets blocked and then lost the handle. The Spartans will keep it. A good sign for Central Connecticut early is going after the offensive glass because that's what Michigan State does. They're as good as anybody in the country at converting second chance opportunities. Dawson had a good look inside but could not convert. And an air ball miss by Vinales. He's a local kid from the Detroit metro area from Farmington Hills, so he's got a lot of friends and family in the crowd tonight. And they want to go right back to him. Bad miss by Tassik, but the long rebound comes in and back down low for the score, and Ken Horton getting it done inside. Smart basketball by Central Connecticut. The number seven score in the country in Ken Horton. Well, Brandon Wood, number 30 in white, transferred from Valpo, got brings big offensive weapons to this Michigan State offense. He's definitely getting more comfortable in this Tom Izzo offense, and his production offensively is starting to peak. Nice open look shot from Ken Orton. Long distance miss by Draymond. An eight point lead could go to double digits for Central Connecticut. They have showed a lot of poise early. Patience on the perimeter, but the shot clock inside 10, and a basket and a foul coming. Who are these Blue Devils from Central Connecticut State? Again, in the Northeast Conference, they're picked to finish in the top two or three. New Britain, Connecticut, of course, not far from home base for the ESPN headquarters. I picked Central Connecticut in preseason to win the Northeast Conference. I think Howie Dickman with, with Horton leading the way, with the scoring of Tassik, Vinales, they just have three tremendous scoring weapons that you've got to prepare for every night. Horton makes the free throw to get the three-point play. He is on track to become the all-time leading co career scorer in school history for Central Connecticut. There's a hard to get basket inside by Adrian Payne for MSU. They need something to kind of get this game turned around in their favor. And attack the paint is a good place to start for a bigger, stronger Michigan State. A crossover pull up missed by Shelton Mickle, but they keep banging inside and a whistle against MSU. Michigan State foul. Thornton gets open. Ball mishandled, here come the Blue Devils, Ken Horton getting harassed, he'll give it up. And a knockdown make by Adonis Burbage. Blue Devils get it back and then give it away. Almost. Right back to it. Down it goes strong, but gets blocked from behind. Morton leads the run out for the Blue Devils. And Tasik gets fouled on the way up. Calvin Yalis leads for Malcolm McMillan on the Blue Devils bench. Shot clock at eight seconds. Watch the white jerseys when the shot goes up. Watch the best rebounding team in the nation. Hard drive, but a flush off the miss by Ken Horton. Triple penetration, rotation, don't lay a body on anybody. Good job by Central Connecticut. Now goes the 2-3 zone in the half-court set. Horton has 13, but he's 10 points shy of his season average. 
Allen getting more minutes tonight because of Joe Efese staying home. Efese with that concussion. Crowd won a technical foul on the dribble the ball. It's one and one. So the officials the, the at the call school. apparently was a one and one. And so that should have been a live ball and a counted basket. It was a front end. Smart basketball. It was a one and one. He missed the first shot, so it's a smart possession. So Michigan State will get the basketball. This team has a different culture, and frankly, a better culture than last year's team. By the way, the West Coast Conference has knocked off the power six six times so far this season. Gordon got 